good morning. It's Randy t -Bird out here in Arizona on a 90 degree morning at 5.30 a.m. Weather's been brutal all week. It's been in the 100 teens. We had 118 twice, uh, 117, 116 predicted for today. This is really the only time of the day that it's going to make a difference uh, or make it good to ride. Uh, I'm headed out for vacation in a couple hours so I just wanted to get out for a quick blast before before I do that since I'm not going to be on my bike for a week oh well family vacation it's a good thing oh, truck full of crap up here I gotta get past this thing but anyway this is this is the uh, the thing that we face out here in Arizona when in the summertime it's uh, you pay for your beautiful winter and fall seasons with this uh, god-awful god-awful heat in the mornings or in the summer ow god damn it this fucking thing dropping rocks all over me sorry about the language folks but I'm getting peppered by rocks from that truck anyway past it now Uh, I don't know, don't have a whole lot to talk about today. I'm looking forward to a trip to the mountains and a uh, long drive, but uh, should be worth it. Never been to Lake Tahoe before. Uh, JP 1970 just uh, made the trip out there and uh, he said I'm going to love it, so I'm going to take him at face value on that. JP, thanks for the advice. Uh, this is one of those bucket list things I always wanted to do is uh, see Lake Tahoe, so thanks to the federal government uh, stimulus program, I'm going to have enough money to take that kind of vacation this year, so that's good. I am uh, supporting the economy as I uh, am want to do, mostly through motorcycles and motorcycle parts, but uh, this will be a little different. Doing my part. Kind of hazy this morning because of the the uh, the fires have got a lot of smoke hanging around the valley, and with the heat, it just keeps it down here in an inversion layer. Uh, there we have had a few clouds starting to build, so maybe the monsoons are going to make an appearance. Uh, with my luck, we'll have a great monsoon storm while I'm away. But uh, actually, there's a chance it might actually run into some rain out in the in the deserts and the Sierras, so um, that'll be kind of a unique thing since I haven't seen rain in a while that are out here. This drought is, continues to get worse. But I plan on taking some footage of the, the areas up there and uh, across the desert. Uh, I'm going to be real close to Death Valley on the way up there. However, I don't think I'm going to go into Death Valley in June. Uh, Maybe the winter is when I'll be headed out that way. I read uh, somewhere that it was 123 degrees in Palm Springs the other day, and I'm thinking, my God. I mean, the land of swimming pools, I imagine that that's uh, tolerable. But, uh, yeah, those poor rich people having to deal with that. I mean, I wonder if there are any people in Palm Springs that are not wealthy. Only the people, I guess, that work for the resorts and the businesses that support the uh, the uber rich so as it is so if anybody's from Palm Springs and you're not wealthy hey drop me a line let me know how you live there it's got to be expensive catching a I'm gonna say cool not really cool but a relatively not hot spot here and there as you go go up the road to there but I guess uh, kind of a recurrent theme, it is hot. I've had some people ask me uh, about the uh, Road Warrior fairing and uh, and uh, how uh, it is with buffeting. Well, I am not a tall person. I am five foot seven on a good day uh, without a slouch. And uh, I don't, I've got the 11 inch windshield on, on mine. And uh, it works just fine. It creates a pretty good dead air pocket. I put my hand out in front of me here. 
you don't really feel any real turbulence until you're up here which then goes over my helmet um, Memphis Shades uh, makes several different windshield heights I guess all the way up to maybe I could be wrong about this I know they make a 14 and I think they make a 17 now a 17 for me would be looking straight through it which is which is something I don't like is looking straight through windshields uh, it's distracting to me and anybody that has bifocal glasses knows that you know you already got one line to look through so uh, I don't like I don't like that they also make shorter ones and they make vented ones so I think there's probably a lot of options for people who want to get the uh, the Road Warrior fairing on their bike as to what they are and I guess it's going to depend a lot on on your height and um, there is some adjustment on the actual fairing itself you can bring it uh, you can change the angle by about as much as a half an inch and anybody that's done uh, um, windshields or fairings or whatever knows that uh, a half an inch can make a huge difference in the way things ride also it's going to depend on what kind of helmet you've got if you if you've got helmets that are uh, Oh, that don't have the right kind of aerodynamics on them. Uh, I know the more uh, that 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 could cause some buffeting too, but that could cause some buffeting regardless. The uh, the more uh, uh, premium helmets uh, do much better do much better uh, aerodynamically than, than some of the cheaper ones, and, and you know, and everybody buys what they can afford. Uh, if it were me, and I've done this here in the in previous uh, couple years, I run HJC helmets, and they're fine. But once you uh, switch to an Arai or a Shoei or a Schubert or something of that nature, um, it's really hard to go back because the the difference is profound. Uh, they are much much better helmets, and uh, they cut through the air better. They're quieter. They're more comfortable. They're more adaptable. I, I have an Arai uh, Pro, uh, Defiant Pro Cruise, and I also have another Arai, a, a, a DTX model, which was the so-called entry-level Arai, which is still 500 and some dollars new. Uh, I, I got it on a closeout and got a real good deal on it. Um, but the Defiant uh, Pro Cruise uh, was a $700 helmet when they were new. Again. Uh, me being kind of a tight ass when it comes to money because I don't usually have much money uh, I found one uh, on a closeout so it's still it still is five hundred dollars three years ago but uh, and I think the longevity of these helmets the durability is it works too but again back to the subject of uh, buffeting on the uh, windshield I think your helmet has a lot to do with it too so if you're really tall with a cheap helmet um, you might have some buffeting issues on practically everything, but uh, I don't know. Uh, check it out. Try different windshield heights. Each windshield on these things is 99 bucks. So I would say if you're tall, go with the 14-inch. And uh, the vented one kind of uh, works in the same way that the Rushmore fairings work on the Harley uh, baggers. That has the vent in and that creates uh, uh, decreases the updraft that you have you know and if you're riding with an open face helmet uh, if you have a beard you know your beards up in your face so uh, with a full face helmet you don't have that issue but that's my take on the uh, the buffeting issue uh, as far as having the fairing it's really I can't ride without one anymore I mean it creates you know, if you have a naked bike uh, the wind blast gets really really oppressive over 60 miles an hour and it's tiring to ride when you're holding on for dear life and so with the combination of having this fairing punches a good size uh, hole in the airstream and with my uh, saddleman step up seat gives me some back support it really transforms the uh, soft tail uh, series bike especially the street bobs and the uh, uh, the fat bobs uh, any any of the bikes really that have the Have this frame architecture with possibly the exception of uh, 
of the deluxe or the uh, the heritage which which I had uh, the Heritage has a pretty good sized windshield and, and also you can buy a Batwing fairing, which mine had, that made a, quite a bit of difference. The Batwing fairing was awesome. I mean, it made it as, every bit as comfortable as any bagger that's out there. So you check out my older videos if you're just tuned in and you want to see those. Also had a, an older Slim and when I put the Road Warrior fairing on that, that made a massive difference on that too. It's a, with the slim it's a very low bike and the handlebars are low and so it just kind of low and wide it puts you out there like a sail but uh, yeah the fairing is definitely the way to go here and if you're not in that club style look or you don't just don't like the looks of, of a t-sport style fairing um, you know regular windshields for work for people too uh, Again, I don't care for looking through a windshield, so, I mean, if you're going to look through a windshield, it's, it, I just take the car. So, looking over it works for me, but uh, that's a subject that I've got a lot in my, in my comments and my videos that I thought I would address today while I was out for a ride. Very hazy today, again, because of the smoke from the fires. It's going to be a hot, windy day today. The 116 predicted. And you get that afternoon wind out here in Arizona, and you get that uh, open oven, hair dryer, blow dryer uh, uh, wind blast in the afternoon. It is not refreshing. And then you get after. After the sun goes down and you get into the evening, the wind just stops and you get that stifling, stifling uh, oven uh, effect and uh, it's just better to stay in and uh, I see, I still see a lot of, a lot of brothers out on bikes the, riding in this afternoon and uh, everybody <laughs> that doesn't have a helmet cover in her face, uh, I see the look on her face, it's like, oh my god, just get me to where I'm going. Uh, for 25 years, all I had was a bike, and I rode in this stuff day in and day out. And uh, I know by the time you got home, your the bottom of your feet were burning, your fingers were burning. Uh, uh, of course, you have to wear clothes to ride a motorcycle, and so there's that. Uh, there have been times when I've uh, had holes in my jeans and actually got sunburn through there, just just riding back and forth to work. It only takes about 20 minutes in this kind of weather to get sunburned, to get a severe sunburn, if you're not careful. You can see my arms, my arms show the, the scars of many sunburns and uh, things of that nature from over the years of my 66 years of being on this planet. I gotta say, as much as I like it out in here in the desert, it just looks yucky today. It just yucky. That's a technical term for those fo folks of you who uh, use more colorful adjectives. But it, it's it's just hazy, ugly right now. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe we do get some breeze going on here in this morning that blows us away. But, uh, when I was in Tucson earlier in the week working. Uh, it was really, really hot down there, and I mean, 115 in Tucson. I was working in a warehouse that did not have any cooling at all, and I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna waste away. I felt like I lost 10 pounds there in three days, but I survived it, as I always seem to do. We're tough out here in the desert. Anyway, this is Randy T. Bird out here in Arizona. Just a, a quick ride out here to, for uh, take off and the, the big family vacation. Is no no family trucks or just uh, just just my Ford sedan. But uh, got good air conditioning. I got satellite radio and I've got an iPod loaded up with road road tunes and we should have a good time. This is Randy Tiber. Don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate everybody that's come on board here this this last week. Uh, I'm doing really well. 545 as of today, and I may hit that 600 before 
before you know it, I, I'm, I'm just amazed. And I'm very appreciative. But this is Randy T. Bird. We'll talk to you soon.